Going digital might be the best option for publishing your indie comics. In fact, I've done some research and found three digital platforms that not only allow you to publish your indie comics for 100% free, but also allow monetization options, which gives you the opportunity to not only get your books in front of other people, but make money while you're doing it. And with the growing popularity of apps like Marvel Unlimited and DC Universe Infinite, indie comics have also found a brand new place to thrive online. Gone are the days where you have to spend huge amounts of money on printing and distribution, you can go direct to consumer online yourself. So by going digital, you can actually get your indie comics in front of a massive worldwide audience 100% for free. And one of the biggest advantages of going digital is that ease of accessibility. Readers can simply jump on an app, click a button and download your book, which completely eliminates the need for bags, boards, storing lawn boxes and all those single issues. This ease of accessibility means that anybody anywhere in the world with a smartphone can read your comic. And publishing digital also allows you a a lot more creative freedom and the ability to take a lot more risks. Unlike with traditional big comic book publishers, you retain 100% creative control, which allows you to explore unique art styles and storytelling opportunities that you're interested in. And if it flops, it's not a big deal. You don't have to worry about a big major publisher getting upset and maybe dropping you or terminating some kind of contract. You can just make something new, try again, and continue on. Indie comics thrive on creativity, so going digital gives you the ultimate outlet for that creativity. And you cannot underestimate the ability to connect directly with your readers. Social media allows you to directly interact with fans, receive instant feedback, and actually build a community around your comic book. This direct connection can lead to all sorts of things, from collaborations and general audience growth, all the way up to big brand partnerships. And don't forget about the immense cost savings. Printing and distribution can really eat away at an expense budget. This makes it harder to take risks creatively because you're worried about the financial outcome. But by going digital, you could take all that money you save and actually put it back into your art. Whether that's upping the quality of your art or your writing, maybe hiring an editor to take a look at your things after it's finished, and you might be able to spend a little bit of money on advertising and actually marketing the book. Oh, and do you remember at the beginning of the video where I told you that you could make money while also publishing your indie comics for free? Well, as promised, let's get into the three places that I found online where you can publish your indie comic books for completely free and also make money while you're doing it. Up first is probably the biggest and most well-known platform out there right now, and that's Webtoon. Webtoon is by far the largest platform on this list with over 100 million downloads worldwide. Wide. They offer 23 different genre options, but they do not seem to offer any kind of age filter. So keep that in mind when you're publishing on Webtoon because there's really no way to age restrict your book, at least not from what I can tell. Now, as said, all of these platforms are 100% free, including Webtoon. And apart from just publishing, Webtoon offers what they call the Webtoon Academy, which offers tips and tricks in utilizing the platform to its fullest. And when it comes to making money on Webtoon, they offer a 50% ad revenue sharing program. They also offer the ability to integrate your Patreon directly to your profile. Also with this platform, it's worth keeping in mind that there is a heavy focus towards manga on the platform. They do have a healthy amount of Western style comics on there, but it is a manga heavy platform. But don't let that deter you because the amount of users alone guarantees some kind of audience for everything on there. The next option you could go with is Global Comics. This is definitely the new kid on the block having just been founded back in 2019, but that doesn't mean they're not a viable option to publish your indie comics. For one thing, they probably have the most search filter options available out of all three platforms that I'm going to mention. Readers actually have the ability to filter by age, art style, theme, and way more. They also seem to offer the most analytics data out of all three platforms, at least what they showed me publicly without publishing something myself. But this allows you to take a closer look at what's working and what's not working for you. And as far as earning money on global comics, they offer a lot more options than Webtoon. Rather than an ad revenue sharing program, they actually have a subscription fee sharing program where they take a percentage of all the subscription fees paid to the platform by readers and they divvy that out to the creators of the comics on the platform. They also give you the ability to offer early access donations, which is basically like a tip system. And they actually give you the ability to just sell your comic outright. And Global Comics has a much heavier focus on the Western style of comic book. And they have publishers of 
all sizes on the platform. But with those bigger name publishers mixed in with even single creators on the platform, there is a higher level of competition with global comics because you have big companies like Image Comics mixing it up with like individual creators. Now, last on the list for today, but absolutely not least is Tapas. At least I think that's how you pronounce it. And in my personal opinion, this is where I would publish my indie comic if I made indie comics. They not only have sections on the platform for comics and manga, but they actually have a complete novel section as well. They also offer an extremely diverse selection of genres and they have a mature rated section on the site. But the main reason this platform excites me more than the other two is their merch store option. After you hit 500 subscribers on the platform, you can open up a merch store and actually design shirts, pins, buttons, hats, all kinds of stuff and sell those directly to the consumers. And that allows you to start building a brand around your indie comics. Oh, and did I mention they offer a 70% ad revenue sharing program? That's pretty good. So let's review just real quick some of the bullet points from each platform. Webtoon definitely is the largest platform with the largest audience on the list, but that comes with the largest amount of competition, as well as they only offer the 50% ad revenue sharing program. Webtoon is definitely the biggest platform with the biggest audience on this list, but that comes with the biggest level of competition and they only offer two monetization options. Tapas actually allows you the most options when it comes to publishing, and they also offer, in my opinion, the most lucrative monetization options out of the three. Global Comics is definitely the newest platform on this list, but they offer some of the most monetization options and and they definitely give you the most analytics data. I'm gonna leave this chart up on the screen for a minute and you guys can take a screenshot or copy it down with a paper and pencil, whatever you need to do so you can compare to three platforms and decide which one is right for you. So what's the main takeaway? If you're an indie comics creator on a budget, then going digital really might be the best option for you. You can really easily reach new readers. You can showcase your creativity the way you want to, and you get to directly interact with your audience and they can directly support you. And again, I cannot overstate the cost savings. But have you had any experiences personally with any of these three platforms? If so, let me know in a comment down below. But if you really prefer to create your indie comic books physically, then click on this video right here for tips and tricks on how to get your indie comics into comic shops. And as always, everybody be safe, be kind, and take it easy.